These are from a brand called Lit Ones, who are today's video sponsor. They've sent me these lights to try out and showcase. However, all opinions in this video are my own, and I will take you through the cons and pros. They come in two models, H01 for the clamped version and H02 for the stand version, but both feature the same specs and design. Let's see what you get inside the clamped version. And now let's check out the stand version. So on first impressions, these lights look really cool. I really like its minimalistic design. It's simple and sleek looking. What stands out to me is the double-sided illuminating design. One side is the main light and the other side has a soft glow effect to it, which is quite unique. The build quality is a bit of a mixture. The main frame of the light is made of light metal, whereas the frame around the light with the touch controls are made of plastic. The weight of the entire thing is light, so it does feel a bit cheap. However, the mount and stand does add a bit of weight to it. The flexibility of the light is good, with mostly tilt action in which you can tilt up and down to certain limits with the arm holding well in place when using the light with the stand version. If you want to rotate, you would have to rotate the stand itself, whereas with the mount version, you can actually rotate while it's mounted to the surface, and there's less of a limit to how much you can tilt up and down the light arm. When adjusting the light, I would accidentally touch the controls on it and end up changing the settings. It would be good if there was a control lock to stop it from happening, but for now, you would have to just grab other parts of the light to move it. The touch controls are simple. On the light, it has controls for power, light temperature, and brightness levels, and a profile light in which you can save a favorite light setting. The light also comes with this puck light wireless remote. It does require three AAA batteries, which are included. You can control the brightness levels by simply rotating the dial. You can also change the light's tone from warm to cold by pressing down while rotating the dial. And to turn off and on the light, just press down on it once. It's a really cool remote, although I would love to see some sort of app for the light and turn it into a smart light for easy automation. But the wireless puck is handy when it's within reach on your desk. Let's check out the brightness levels. Now let's check out the different tones of lighting. I do like the different tones to the light, like warm for a more relaxed mood, or in the middle you have a more natural tone to mimic natural daylight, and then a cold tone which I find great for focus. I think one light is enough if you have a small to medium desk. It's bright enough to light up most of the desk, so it's perfect for lighting up your peripherals. Or to read something. Maybe for better concentration. Or if you just want a bit of mood lighting, you can switch over to the warmer tones. I personally use two of these lights for PC building and product shots like this. When changing brightness, you don't experience any flickering on camera, which makes it great for shooting video. And the lights are flexible enough to move around to light up certain areas of a product. And if I want cinematic or moody shots, using only one light can also do the job. For webcam or streaming, you can't go wrong with these lights either. The different levels of brightness, tones, and angles you can position the lights makes this a versatile light to give you decent lighting. Overall, for everyday use, these lights are functionally capable. They aren't perfect, and there is room for improvement, but these lights look great and they do get the job done. I will leave links to the lights in the video description below.